There's a deluge at Le Mans at the start of the 48th edition of the 24 Hours that takes place on June the 14th and 15th, 1980. It's not really a surprise given the weather had been capricious since the start of the week, but of course it's tricky for all concerned. Even Henri Pescarolo, three times a winner here, seems worried. There are three rondos at the start and once again it's a case of David versus Goliath. There are 24 Porsches at the start line out of 55 cars, fully 43% of the field. The main Porsche entry is the number 9 of Jackie Eakes and Reinhold Just, the 908 number 9, and it's fourth on the grid. The first leader is John Fitzpatrick in the Porsche 935 of Dick Barber Racing. Then comes the Rondo 15 and the Porsche 42 of Gozzi Kramer Racing. Then the Rondo 16 of Jean Rondo himself and Jean-Pierre Jusso and the Porsche of Jackie Eakes. The minutes pass and the weather gets better. Jackie Eakes hands over the wheel to his teammate Joost, who moves into the race lead at the end of the third hour. This is the favourite for overall honours, a fine driving lineup. It all augurs well for an improvement on 79 when Porsche won, but thanks to a privateer, the works cars did not fare well. Jackie Eakes has already won Le Mans four times, and a fifth victory would make him the most successful driver in Le Mans history. A pit stop for the Rondo 16, the car has climbed up to sixth, up from lower in the top ten. Even if Porsche give off the impression of being unbeatable, many observers feel that Rondo have a card to play in this year, 1980, where many of the major constructors have not entered. It appears to be a transitional year, something that should benefit the outsiders. That could be the case for Rondo, whose workshops are based only a few kilometres from the circuit. During the evening, there's drama as the leading port is hit by a fuel injection pump problem and Eakes and Bell drop to sixth. At Rondo, there are great hopes, even if Eakes and Joost reclaim the race lead at around four in the morning. For now, the 908 number nine is perfectly controlling matters while the rain stopped during the night. But at 10 in the morning, there is more drama and the Rondo now leads. The Porsche number nine had to stop to change fifth gear. The stop lasts 28 minutes, and even if Eakes and Joost are now second, it's the Rondo that leads. The gap is almost five laps between the two. Jackie Eakes, though, has the bit between the teeth, and the gap starts to come down. The suspense is total. At Rondo, Jean-Pierre Josso, already a winner two years previously with Renault, waits for his teammate. Jean Rondo gets out of his car. He's just had an almighty fright. He slid at Dunlop and thought he wouldn't be able to get going again. After stalling, he tried to get the Cosworth engine starting again and nothing happened. In the end, the V8 did roar once more and it's a real miracle. Rondo looks drained and needs help to get his helmet and race gear off. The rain is back and Jackie Eakes throws his last strength into the battle. 40 minutes from the end, Eakes is on the same lap as Josso, but the latter is holding up well, and of course the crowd encouraged the small French team against the German giants. Eakes, Joost and Michel Leclerc, who joined them, have to settle for second. It's a fabulous first victory for Jean Rondo. With Josso, he covered 339 laps and wrote one of the most beautiful pages in Le Mans history.